Um, I'll show you another online assessment uh, website. It's called uh, Tesmos, and it's a it's a very nice uh, website. It's actually a very simple uh, website. It has a very peculiar way of handling um, your tests. And as you can see here, if I show you the pricing, you have a free tier, but you can only make one uh, test per account. Okay, but there's a workaround. There's a very easy workaround. You have 50 questions per test, which is more than enough, and 100 results per test. If you need uh, more than 100 results per test, uh, there's another uh, workaround. It's actually the same as the first workaround. Uh, I'll explain that later. But look, the the payment is only $50 per year. And uh, if you are a teacher, you're going to get a 50% discount, so 25. That works out to about 100 pesos per uh, month, which I think if you look at all the features that you can have uh, as a paid subscriber, um, it's really uh, worth it, I think. But if it's not worth it to you, you can use the uh, free uh, account. And here's how you do it. You always go here, right? You never log in because you are not a member, you're not paid. You, s you just click on the build a test. So let's build a test and you are going to be asked, hey, what is the test name here, right? So let's uh, see, I've already made the uh, an account, but uh, let's make it different, all right? And then the password, let me enter that. Uh -huh. Enter it again. And then click create the test. Now, there's some one thing very important here. Do not forget your password and don't forget your URL. Your URL is here, all right? So I'm going to click this. And now we have an account in Tesmos. It's called, you see, it's my name. So use your name when you are making the uh, test. And as you can see, my uh, browser can uh, remember my uh, username and password. But I would suggest making a small uh, note. So let's say this is a test mos. I'm using the notes uh, app because I'm on a Mac, but uh, you can also use uh, maybe a notepad if you're on a PC. All right, so test moss. And then I can put in, say, oh, no, that's not the, let me just copy this, see, copy, and then paste. It's very important to remember this. There's no way to recover this if you uh, forget. All right, and uh, maybe you can put in, oh, what's the, uh, password and blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to show you my password, so let's just say that's the password, right? Now, I'm going to explain why this is important uh, a little bit later. So right now, you're in the dashboard. Now, you can only make one uh, quiz or exam for this, right? So you just have to follow all of this one by one. So first, you're going to adjust uh, the settings, all right? So you can change the test name. So maybe you are a math teacher. You're going to uh, give a math uh, two. Uh, test, right? And then you have an introduction here. So maybe you can put in welcome to math to midterms, whatever you want. And then you can choose the color scheme. Doesn't really matter. You can uh, choose the blue and white maybe for uh, Ateneo colors. And then let's see. Okay, question settings. Show all que test questions on one page. Yep, that's what we, uh, that's not what we want. We want to show one question uh, per page. Right? So do we allow the students to jump around? No. So only move forward. And then after each question is answered, yeah, don't show anything. Right? You can change it if you want. But remember, don't uh, give too much feedback. They can use it to cheat. So again, randomize the order of the questions during the, the test. And then once the test is completed, uh, they can see something, you know, like, uh, thank you for uh, taking the test. There. You can choose to show a um, custom message if the student passed or failed, but let's just skip that. And then at the end of the test, do we want to display any of this? I'm just going to blank it. Uh, you can change it. So access control. Well, let's just put anyone because it's a hassle to have uh, passwords or all this. So just anyone. Anyway, you're going to just give the, the test to your student. And then we're going to say, okay, 20 
minutes for that. Uh, you can change it, so maybe 90 minutes, so one and a half. Uh, how many times can you take it? One. All right, and what should test takers enter to identify themselves? So you can uh, uh, say enter your name or whatever you want. And then browser functionality, we want to disable all of this because again, possible uh, sources of cheating. Notification, yeah, you can have uh, people be sent uh, emails of the result, but uh, we're going to say no for now. So now we're going to save. And now we're in the questions. And then we can insert many different kinds. Now this is what I like about this. Once you click on the question type, you're only go going to see the built uh, question. All you have to do is replace. So for example, what is your question for number one? Um, you know, just type it in, whatever. You can uh, put in, if you're a math teacher, look. Um, by the way, this is a paid option. And uh, I think it's totally worth it. You even have a help page here, see? You are shown uh, what, uh, what are the notations that you have to put in. And uh, see, if you put in this, you're going to see uh, this, right? And if you need more, I think uh, there, uh, you're going to be shown the entire uh, set of notations that you can use there. Oh my God, there's so much. Okay, but anyway, it's a paid uh, thing. So if I click okay here, see, it's going to ask you to pay. Again, my opinion, it's totally worth it, right? So you can say, oh, choice number three is the correct uh, answer. It's worth uh, one point. You can uh, choose to have uh, explanation, but again, that's a paid uh, option. And then insert again. So let's say true or false. And then again, it's already formatted. You can just put in the statement and then say, oh, it's a false uh, <clears throat> a statement. Again, points. Let's insert another one. Let's say uh, matching. Again, you already have a set uh, matching here. You can just change it, you know, all this. And then you can uh, give partial credit. So maybe this is worth four points. And for every match, they will get uh, one point, all right? And then you can just keep adding, again, all the way up to 50 uh, items, all right? See, there. And maybe another one, let's say essay, right? You can just have the question here. And then uh, this is where the student will uh, put in their answer, okay? Now, by the way, you don't have to save. So because if you save this, see, don't worry about saving. This page is auto-saved. So as long as you're typing, you are, it's going to be auto-saved. So let's say the power cuts out. Um, you can recover the, the questions that you were able to put in because it's being auto-saved. No need to uh, keep on saving. Now let's go to publish. We now have a five item uh, exam. So you can preview your test. This is what the students will see, right? Uh, they have to log in with their information and then they're going to see the, see, this is the introduction. Uh, they click continue, they can answer. So. All right, see, it has, um, you know, you can't just uh, keep on going forward. So let's answer this, whatever, and then submit. So this is the essay portion, just the uh, answer, true or false. There you go. Uh -huh. Multiple choice. Okay, see, now we are finished. So we can log out. Now, first you have to publish, right? We just previewed it. So you have to publish it. So you can... Um, pick an interval, but this is a paid uh, service, so you can just manually open or close. So let's say open it, right? So now this is the um, address of the test. Notice it's the same as your account because it's linked. One test is to one account, right? We've already taken note of that. See, it's in here. Now, if I want to make another uh, test, one way you can do it is you can make another account, but that's really uh, superfluous. All you, can, all you have to do is uh, go back to your dashboard and see, look at this. Look at the clone. Create a duplicate copy of this test, right? So you, we have a math two uh, test. Maybe you want to uh, make a math uh, four. Well, I don't know the, the names of the uh, subjects, but a uh, different math. So if you make a clone, you're going to Click this, okay, it says it's alive. Now, you have to remember this. This is now your second account, basically, right? Kind of like your second, I'm going to copy this, then I'm going to put it uh, in here. Maybe I can even put in uh, math for exam, right? Because if I click on this, 
Now you have luck. It's no longer math 2, but it's a clone of math 2. So if you look at the questions, it's still the same questions, but because it's a different uh, uh, test, then you can just uh, change. You know, maybe this is the correct answer now, change the choice, all that. You know, you can just change this. So now this is different. This is now a different uh, test, right? And then if you notice, it's not yet uh, published. So again, you can uh, publish this now. By the way, you can also choose to print the, the exam again after the COVID-19 uh, pandemic is over. Maybe we can do this now. You can uh, uh, download it as a Word uh, document or you can just uh, print it on your uh, browser as a PDF file. That, uh, I wish I knew about this when I was uh, still teaching in uh, Ateneo. That would really help a lot. But anyway, so now you have two um, exams. You just have to, for example, you want to give the exam, you just copy the link and then give it to your students. So if I paste this here, see, it's going to uh, prompt the student to enter his name. Now, by the way, this uh, tab here, administration, this is just uh, your login for your account. Every time you go to your uh, account from, uh, you know, let's say you close your browser and you went back, uh, my my browser is remembering my password, but if you are using a public uh, computer, you may not want to do that. So this will help, right? We, uh, we put in the password, you just copy it, and then paste it on here. Then you can access uh, your uh, account again. So let's pretend that we are a student. Uh, let's enter our name, start. Now we can answer the question. So there, there. Da, 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 da. Submit and then blah blah blah. Okay, so I am done as a student. Let's close that. Then you can see the results, right? The results are actually very uh, comprehensive. If you had 50 items, you can see all the 50 items, okay? Whether the student got it right or partially right or wrong, okay? Now, this one, it's not yet uh, finished, right? Because it's a uh, essay uh, point, so you have to manually grade it. So let's say, oh, uh, this is what, uh, one point there. And then if you save it, then it's now uh, up, upgraded, the score is upgraded. This is another uh, great uh, part of this uh, program. And uh, there are many ways that you can um, use the results page. You can export to CSV. Again, if you want to just copy all the points of the students, and uh, you don't have to manually put it into your uh, grading sheet, you can do that, all right? It's a great one. Now, if I want to make a third exam, what do you think I have to do? Ooh, it's a clone again. If I clone this, see, clone, it will generate a third link. Again, remember that. Copy it. So maybe this is for statistics. 101. So now we can do uh, that again. Go there. Now it's a clone of clone of math 2. It's a clone of a clone. And then again, you can change the, the settings. You can change the questions. Go back again and then publish it there. And then send this link to the students and then they can take it. All right. So if you uh, have more than 100 students, right, uh, you need to have identical uh, exams, then you don't have to change, right? So maybe let's make another clone. Maybe you have more than 100 uh, students in um, Statistics 101. Let's clone it. That's all you have to do. Clone. Remember the address again. We don't want to uh, lose that. So copy it. By the way, if you're using a, a PC, you may want to use um, a cloud service like Dropbox or uh, OneDrive or even uh, Google Drive so that you can access this uh, uh, note uh, anywhere you are or any computer uh, that you are using. So if you click here, so we have the um, extra, the duplicate of um, statistics. So we can say, oh, this is statistics 101, another copy, you know, let's, or you can just say copy. So that maybe you can say, I'm going to send uh, the this link to half of my class and then this link to half of you know 
the other half. So 60-60 instead of uh, all 120 trying to answer it. Because what happens is if 120 students uh, answer it, you can only see the first 100 uh, results. What happens to the 20? It's still being recorded, but you have to pay to see the extra 20. So just remember that, right? Uh, if you forget, uh, your, some of your students might have uh, no results because uh, you can't see it. Okay. So this is uh, test mouse. It has a very um, uh, simple uh, way of um, making the exams. And uh, I think it's very cheap. I'm sure you can afford it. I mean, 100 pesos uh, a month, you know, just don't, uh, just don't buy a, a cup of coffee uh, every month, just once in a month, skip that. And, uh, you know, if you're buying in uh, Starbucks, <laughs> you don't even have to skip once a month, maybe once every two months, because, wow, those are very expensive coffees. All right, so that's test models. Actually, if I have to choose between the, the three I've already shown you, um, all things being equal, I'm going to choose this one. Now, the other two websites have their own uh, advantages. You know, you can just uh, create multiple exams in just one dashboard. But here you have to make sure to remember this because let's say we sign out and uh, our browser is not able to remember it. You can't really uh, go back to that uh, account that you made because uh, they're not going to give you uh, anything. So there, if I go back to Tasmos, I have to uh, build a test again because it's a uh, free and oh sorry I don't have to do that all I have to do is just uh, remember this or maybe copy this all right and then paste it here and when I enter it now it's going to ask for my name as a student I'm not a student I'm going to go to the administrator so again assuming that uh, you did not remember the password from the browser you can just uh, you know, remember the password here, co copy it, and then paste it there. So we can log in again. There. See, we have uh, the clone of clone math 2. So if we uh, check, this is the oh statistics uh, 101. Uh, and this is how you uh, adjust to the peculiar uh, situation here. One account, one exam. All right. That's it. I think... Um, this should be enough. You should have enough uh, ideas about uh, what to do in online assessment.